a victory in Jesus.
battles. Give me your battles. We got to give me your battles. And I will fight your battles. Come on, somebody. I know you're about to throw in the towel. But God to give me your battles. And I will fight for you. You can't hardly make it. But God to give me your battles. And I will fight for you. And I will fight for you. Come on, somebody. The Lord said, I will fight your battles tonight. He said, I will fight your battles. Come on, somebody. But God is fighting somebody's battles tonight. Somebody's won too many battles. But God said, give me your battles. And he said, I will fight them for you. Come on, somebody. I know you're going through it right now. But God said, give me all your battles. He said, give me your battles. He said, give me your battles. And I will fight for you. But God said, I will fight for you. And I will fight for you. But God said, I will fight your battles. He said, but I will fight your battles. Come on, somebody. He said, give me your battles tonight. He said, give me your battles tonight. He said, give me your battles tonight. I see some. I give honor to God for being the head of my life and to to just really just be here for another, another program. And the, the message today that I want to bring to the, the body of Christ is called the Victory in Christ. Where I had right now I'm broadcasting and the, we had a storm come through here. And so all the power all the power was out and been out for a couple of days. But I believe that God, people and warriors and soldiers of the Lord, no matter what the enemy throws against uh, God's people, God anoints his people through any situation to adapt to any situation to still bring his word to his people. Because the, the word still has to get out. And you know, in the olden days, they said way back I say way back in probably before Christ, people didn't have this, the, the, the technology and stuff they have now. The lights and electricity and, and computers and tablets and all this and all the communication devices to, get, to, to really get his word out. But the people, not only in the Old Testament, but the people in the New Testament, like Jesus himself, Jesus Christ, he walked around the villages and they open and talk to people. It was just his voice, just the, the anointed voice of Christ that was getting the message out. He was his, his message of love and healing and all this pull at the soul and tug at the soul. So God has a way of going against the enemy tactics. He has many weapons that the enemy has many weapons. To try to hinder the people of God, but the people of God, the real, I said the real soldiers of God will find a way to get his message out. All that. Like me, I'm here now. No lights, uh, any kind of communication, just me and the phone. And I'm telling the word of God and still bringing this short message because I don't want to get dark and you can't see me. <laughs> but anyway, the title of my message today was Victory in Christ. I had about four points to bring up about it. The first point was thanks. The second point was conquerors. The third point was defender. And the, the last point was John 16:33, would tell about the tribulation the saints would still have to go through, and how God have have fought, and how God have have been there. And would be with you to, to be overcomer. So the fourth point was overcomer. So let's get into the message today. First of all, I'll do my moment of prayer. In the name of Jesus, I ask the Lord, give each hearer this word. The victory in Christ, the victory in Jesus Christ, Lord. Anything that comes in their life, Lord, in the hinders, please, Lord, let them walk through it, Lord. To praise your name, to give you glory. To give you the honor duck, 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 in the name of Jesus, Lord. No weapon formed against me or them shall prosper. You have made a way for each and every one of us to have victory in you. So we ask in Jesus' name, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we believe and we trust in God. In Jesus' name, amen. And the first point is victory in Christ. I won't hold you long. Victory in Christ. 
the first point is thanks. First Corinthians 15, 57 says, Be thanks, be thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, how can we achieve victory through Christ? That's Jesus Christ. But God had given a gift, and that gift was Jesus, Jesus Christ, through his sacrifice and dying on the cross and rising again on the third day to live in an eternal body, a mortal body. He set us an example. That's how the body of Christ, the true believer, supposed to become just like Christ when they die. Or uh, when they raise in uh, in the rapture, or if they die, having to die before the rapture come, they they arise and get a new body when Christ come in the rapture. They will. He will set us up to show them that that by Him dying on the cross and sacrifice for our sins, that we become like Him, and we and that's the very main reason why we should get God give God all the thanks and praise because of the mighty gift he gave us in Jesus Christ he didn't have to do it he could have just destroyed us all but God said Jesus looked up to his father and said, let me let me prepare me a body me a body that I can go down and sacrifice my life as a God man to redeem man the creation you created that sinning and falling from grace me because man has when he sinned he fell out of the grace of God and Jesus was the only connection to God you couldn't make it without Jesus and the second point was conquerors my Bible says Romans 8 37 nay in all things we are more than conquerors through him that loves us and the dictionary.com said conquerors is a person who conquers a place or people. But in my Bible, my Bible tells me that we are more, more than a conqueror, more than a person who conquers a place or thing. We are, we, we are like 100 times more sufficient in victory than, uh, than conquerors. God has elevated us to a high position in Him as more than conquered and a, a device in the warfare against the enemy. The enemy has devised a device, always devised a way to trap God's people. But God had pre, like I said in my other mess, He pre planted things. Even our victory, He pre -plant, He pre planted that before you became a saint. He knew the battles and the struggles and all the tribulations and tests you were going to go through before you went through them or why you are going through them now. It, it was before your destiny, before you came. So God, God is there for you. He made you more than a conqueror to put on your, put on a whole armor to be a, his soldier in his war. So people, I'm going I'm to tell you a little something. When you become a soldier of God in his army, you become a truly a soldier because he equipped you with all the, the equipment that you need to fight the battle against the enemy. Uh, of course, you, most of you know about the sword. The sword is the word of God. And all the shield and all the different things you need, it tells about the armor of Christ in Ephesians. But God has equipped his people to fight against the enemy. See, the devil... The enemy always, you, it, they tell you, don't, some people don't like to talk about the devil, but they don't know the devil, uh, don't want to think about the devil, but think about the devil. Think about the enemy, the devil. Your enemy, learn your enemy. Because when you're fighting a real battle, you once you learn the enemy weakness, and the same way the enemy learned your weakness, he fight against you. So God gave you the wisdom and the knowledge to, be able to fight against the enemy when he come against you. You learn about his weakness. Because his weakness is Jesus. That's his main weakness. When you say the name of Jesus, he scatters. He runs. He can't, him and his kingdom can stand to hear the name of Jesus. 
it rocks and shakes the very foundation of hell when you say Jesus in the name of Jesus. Thus said the Lord in the name of Jesus. All the kingdoms of hell tremble when you just mention the name of Jesus. And the third point is defender. Deuteronomy do the Deuteronomy 24 says, For the Lord your God is he that goes with you to fight for you against your enemy to save you. God is your defender. God is with you every step of the way fighting against the devil and, and your ab adversary. God is there. Not only is he fighting with you, but he is fighting against your enemy for you to save you. you you're not going to win. You're not going to lose if God is fighting for you. You are you automatic in victory because God is your defender. He defends you. He walks beside you daily. He never leaves your side. God is there. When you lift the, 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 the sword up against the enemy, God is there against the enemy. The devil will flee just to mention of Jesus' name and God and his angels standing right there before you. So when you see God, and when you call on his name, he is defending you against the wise of the devil. So what you do, you just stand your ground and praise him, give him the glory in the name of Jesus. And the fourth point is overcome, errs. God had made us overcomers. So my, my scripture said, John 16, 33, for these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be a good cheers. I have overcome the world. He make us overcomers. He does not tell you you're going to have good times. Um, you're going to have prosperity every day. God teach you to trust in him through tribulation, through whatever you go through. God is there for you. He said he will give you peace even through tribulation. But he said, be a good cheer. Good cheer means be happy, be in, be a praises to him, to, to, to glorify him. He is already giving you the victory. And you are an overcomer in Jesus' name. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord, you already are an overcomer. Because the victory is won before you start fighting it. Because God is... He have won it for you. So believe and trust in God. All these points, thanks, conquerors, defender. God's your defender. And you are an overcomer in Christ. So I, I know some of you out there right now thinking, how can I have victory in Christ? I have bills due. I can't make it in this life. There's so much going on. Uh, the weather the condition, there's so many Anomalies going on around the world right now. So many people dying, so many, so much crime, so much murder. But God said, You are a conqueror. You have the victory. You are already you have already won the victory in Christ. Just believe. There's someone out there right now. He he always the Holy Ghost always revealed. Thus said the Lord that it always be someone of some some soul out there right now that need the victory in Christ. They need him in their life right now, this day, for him to fight their battle. That includes me. We need Christ daily in our life. Now that's in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord. Even without power, Lord, your power is here, Lord. Your power is in this room. Even though there's no electricity, no lights, everything is down. I mean, from power outage. But your power, the power of God is here through all things, through Christ. And I thank you for joining my message today. And I love you in Jesus' name. I thank you in Jesus' name.
strong.